We're broadcasting live from the Thunderdome in Sunniapolis, Fork, Minnesota, home of the Purple Mutant Eaters. You can hear their anthem being played down on the field right now. Of course, written by the artist formerly known as Pimp, Purple Brain, one of the all-time classics. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The New York Threats battle. The Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to NFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. NFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey, man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. Roid Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. I know that's typical of all MFL players, but this is different. <laughs> Trust me, very different. Goal! And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Briggs. And this is a first and and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. And the ref is picking up a wad of singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got those, Grim? Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? He's bribed, you idiot. First down and forever. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell run for a yard. Second down and nine. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Third down and, well, good luck. Great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Oh, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all. First down. And 
It's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll bring up second and one. First and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles. It was just a regular knuckles. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Mr. Beat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall down. Yeah, you think you can go toe to toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Second down in a lot. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. Sticky ball, dirty trick, and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayer. They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. Oh, 
And that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> that run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. And that'll bring up second and one. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. Receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. Blows up the receiver on the play and knocks the ball loose. Third down and five. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Field. And now they can take... Can't keep a good mutant down. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm, that's bleak, Bricks. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Bring up third and one. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and nine. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a downest guy than a speed feed friend. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker shot in half? They'd just be called sit. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And 
and it's first and ten. Looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Third down and forever. And he picks up four on that passing catch. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grip. That cross stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, and he just made a nice cut to avoid the saw. But the saw just made a better, cleaner cut to the ball carrier. And it's first and ten. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast. takes us to the two-minute warning. And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Second and three. The nastiest dirty trick in the MFL of Chainsaw Massacre in the Olympics. And he breaks his bowels here, loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. point attempt it's good they're looking for a good return after giving up points let's see how they do yeah let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing First and ten. They called a zap attack. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. He's at the ten. He scores. He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Ah, don't call things epic, Chris. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill.
And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match speeding time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. <laughs> Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. <laughs> Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. <laughs> and the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. We are back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Oh, what a brutal hit! Second down and nine. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Third down and five. starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. right now. And it's first and ten. Like a monkey truck. And the defense is just getting schooled up there. And it's first and ten. Here 
on first. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Second down in a mile. with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down and nine. This guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Roid Rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. I'll take a Roid Rage for the pocket chaser. Make it snap your way, Shorty. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Yo, man, nobody can touch what I want. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for, you know what? Never mind. First and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second and three. He's leaving it all out on the field today. And there's his large intestines over there, his liver. I think his spleen is stuck on that guy's cleat. No, that's a gallbladder. Ah, my bad. And it's first and ten. Well, he just 
Hernandez heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. First in and three. He picks up a two. And that'll bring up second and one. for two. He caught it. That's two points and even more momentum on their side. I can feel the momentum shifting. For the last time, you're not a Jedi, Bricks. Hey, man, I was going to kill him now. You know what <laughs> The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Red, can I kill him? And he's running like a moose right now. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And Lil Cats will give them a first down. Crushing hit. You can 86 this guy, Bricks. Uh, I never learned how to count that high. First down and seven. <laughs> and Lincoln, he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. At some point, they're going to need to put this rip out of his misery. Uh, how about now, for instance? Here's a hit. 30 tricks. Attack the rep. <laughs> First down and long. Offense says it's time to put the rep out of his misery. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Second down and ten. Third down and the punter is warming up. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Oh, with the brutal hit! And it's 
First and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. Can remind you that Peyton is carving the turkey. <laughs> Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Dirt sandwich. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. They've used a strawberry field's dirty trick. <laughs> Those guys don't know which way forward is now. Pass and catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Second down and seven. And that pass is good for about five yards. Bring up third and one. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You gotta punt it here. Come on. He's not going down. How did he take it to the air and pick up a fourth down conversion? I thought they were crazy to go for it. You well, know, they still might be bricks, but crazy works in the MFL sometimes. Other times, it just comes back with a shotgun. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. QB passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Second down and nine. And he gets three yards on that run. Third down and six. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is... Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. <laughs> and the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? He's supercharged and can electrocute any opposing player he touches. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. What? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. You talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh. Still alive, like a zombie. You know, dead man walking. And it 
And quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And the offense goes into a pickup pace of the game. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. And it's first and ten. Kaboom! And the quarterback is into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and two. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have made he dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. He had it for a second there. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stopping time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I know so much. Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. He'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here.
nine problems, but a win ain't one of them. That's right, Grim. Just like a bridge over troubled water. Like a whole lot of Rosie. The game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.